Hello everybody, <clears throat> today um, I am back with another video in my little videos that I've been doing right now. They're just little server videos. Uh, this one I'm going to show you how to edit your server properties correctly. Now, you're going to like and make a colored uh, message of the day, you know, everyone has those now. So first, you're going to want to download a program called Notepad++ if you don't already have it. If you do, just, um, actually I'll just give you guys a second to download that, so you can just pause the video, go download that, just search it up on Google. I might have the link in the description below, maybe, maybe not. But okay, let's get right onto it, just do edit with Notepad++, because Notepad++ is less confusing. Now, this is the op permission level. This just goes for how many permissions ops have. Like, do they have as much as the owner has? Or do they have as much as a moderator has? I'm just keeping mine at 10. Now, that could mean that they have owner or not. I don't personally like giving that away. Now, I'm pretty sure it's just due to a 10. So, 10 is owner. I may actually I'm gonna change that to eight. You know what? Eight. And allow Nether. This is if you want in your server. If people can make Nether portals and go to the Nether. In my case, I want this to be true. Okay. Now level name. Okay. So in this file, this is the level name. So if you make a world like if you import a world and it's not called world, you either want to rename this world. Or you want to rename this to what the world is called. I'm going to keep it world to make it simple. Enable query. Don't even worry about that. That is nothing important for you. Just keep it false. And if it's not false, turn it false. Allow flight. Um, I'm going to keep this false, but ops will be allowed to fly. Remember that. This is just for... This right here is for new people to the server who maybe you don't want off. Announce player achievements. I'm actually going to put that false. And in case you guys didn't know, false means uh, no and true means yes. Uh, and the reason I'm going to keep that false because I don't want to annoy people with that. Our con password. Now. I will tell you that later, okay, because there's something else we have to do to that, to make it on a crowd password. Okay, server port, keep this at 25565, five. It is a, if it is not 25565, five, then most likely your server will not be connecting to Minecraft, unless you have changed that port, which I am not going to show you how to do, and I will not do, because... 255 is the original Minecraft port, which I would not feel like changing. Okay. Level type. Default. You could have super flat or large biomes. Or the next one that I can't remember, but I'm just going to keep it default. Okay. Okay. This one's talking about the Archon password. This is a naval Archon. If you don't, if you don't know what Archon is then don't worry about it because there's nothing you really need to do because it just makes things more confusing i am going to keep that true you i if you're starting with a server i wouldn't keep that true i would not keep that true okay because you will not be able to enter your server and have people other people play on it remember that and I'm going to set it to something I do not want you guys to know. So I will not be setting it right now. Because I don't want you guys to know it. Because then you can get onto my thing. I would not enjoy that. Because then you can force up yourself. Oh, okay. Next is force game mode. Some people join your server. Do you want them to um, be... Like, do you want them to force game mode? Or can they just go game mode creative, game mode survival? I'm going to force game mode true. 
it doesn't say force game mode, it will automatically force their game mode to be survival. Okay. Level seed. If you found a really good seed that you like, then all you need to do is enter it here and that will be the new world. You have to do this part before you no, after you run your server, but don't do anything to the world, because you will be getting a new world. Now, if you do do this, oh, I'm just going to enter a random seed. Let's say Garg Mel. Garg Mel. Now, here, I would need to delete these worlds, and it would redo a new one. Now, I'm actually not going to do that, and I'm going to delete Gargamel, which that is a real thing. Leave that blank for now. I might get to that on a different video, but leave that blank. Trust me, you're going to want to leave this blank. Max build height. 1 <laughs> equals 1 block. 256 is the original, and it's a pretty decent height. Now, I'm going to keep it at that. This is how far you can build in the sky. Spawn NPCs. I'm guessing you know what an NPC is, like villagers? Yes, yes. False for me. I don't want that. Debug. This will make your server run faster. Whitelist. If you, if you only want certain people to join, make sure that's true. Spawn animals. In my case, true. It's pretty. It's pretty straightforward. Snooper enabled. False. That's for snoopers. Okay. Snooper, not enabled. Hardcore. Well, this is just to people to check stuff. You do not want them to do that. Repeat. You do not want them to do that. Unless you want them to do that. I would not like that. I wouldn't. Hardcore? Straightforward? No. Online mode? Obviously true. Or else you'll just be on your server. Um, which many people actually do do. Resource pack. You have to enter the website. From my knowledge, you will enter the website from the resource pack. You do not enter the name. PvP? True. If you want there to be player versus player, person versus person. Difficulty, it's obvious, one, enable command block, just don't let them get command blocks, it's pretty easy, idle timeout, um, I'm gonna say, if they're for, if they're AFK for two minutes, which is 120 seconds. Game mode zero. So th this is actually what it's gonna force them to. Where it says force game mode, is this what gonna, it's gonna force them to? Game mode zero is survival. One is creative. Think of it like this: one, some tolerance. Zero, no tolerance. Max players eight for me until my server's open. Then I'll make it like unlimited or something. But don't do too high or else your RAM won't go well. Archon port. If you have Archon, just leave that like that. If not, then that won't even show up. Spawn monsters. Obvious monsters. Nighttime. While I'm building a server, I recommend false if you're just building your spawn stuff. Few distance, 10 blocks. That doesn't really matter. Just don't even know that's there. Spawn structures like NPC villages. And everything like that stuff, you know, pyramids, jungle, temples, spawn protection, 50. I would definitely do 50, 5 zero. Okay, this is one of the main parts of the server. How to color. This originally, b b that wouldn't be colored. A uh, manua. Okay, if you would like this to be colored, you need to enter this code. I will have it in the description so you can just copy and paste it. But if you don't, and you're doing this stuff as the video is going, which you should be, is it 
backslash U zero zero uppercase A seven and then you need to enter another number to know what color you want but to know the color codes you need to do this so one stark blue here's all the codes just don't put that and in front of it just put the code which would be one two three or something for me I'm just gonna do four okay so four um open I need to do this again I said U zero zero seven four open two I'm just gonna copy and paste this okay uh two public Christmas day and then while in the distance I'm gonna do it again I'm gonna do something else except this time it's not gonna be that color I'm gonna put uh, five five which would be purple and then one point seven point two. Just so you know, this is one point seven point two. It's pretty obvious. Okay, and then you're done. All you need to do is up here file. Remember up here. Not that. Not that. Stop. Up here, file, save. Wait, before, you know if it's saved, if this little save here is red, it's not saved. If it's blue, it is saved. As you see, currently it's red. And now it's blue. And that's how you make good server properties. Now I'll be right back just to show you that this coloring really worked. Hey guys, we're on Minecraft, and my server again is the bottom one. So, I already made the icon, I already made the server. Now, I'm going to show you that the coloring worked. Multiplayer, my server. See? Open to public Christmas Day. And then under that is 1.7.2. Now, if you dislike that, I'm just going to go back to server properties. And I am going to pull this over just a little bit I'll save hmm. reload reload complete no now we need to move it a little bit more forward okay File, save, that's pretty enough, it's pretty good enough, I'll show you it worked, okay, I'm showing you that this worked, and that's how you do it, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to rate, like, comment, and subscribe, remember, it's still trying to become that YouTube partner, Thank you for watching. This is M Classy TV. Goodbye.